When I was in college, I studied abroad in Norway, where uh, my family was from. I basically, I just lived in the pubs out there uh, five or six days a week. The culture behind pubs in Europe is much different. It's more just a, um, a fabric of life versus um, um, an evening out to get to absolutely drunk. When we opened up this place, the intent was to have as much of that European style feel um, as we could. I got started in brewing about three years before we opened up the pub here. Um, I was kind of an extreme hobbyist at, at the time and the original intent when I opened up the pub was to get a brewery going and it took about four years after opening but eventually we did get the brewery open. We opened with the intent to sell as much craft beer as we could. Um, we do not sell any of the major American yellow beers. We uh, sell over a hundred different bottled beers and we always have 12 drafts on tap and they're always craft beer. If anybody out there has a beer that they want us to have, we will do whatever we can to find it for them. The Nail Creek um, is a creek that used to run through where the uh, uh, Matt Brewing Company is right now. A really good friend actually said, hey Chris, there's this thing called the Nail Creek, it used to be part of the uh, brewing industry and I heard the name and I said, that's a great name, it has great history, so we're, this is going to be the Nail Creek Pub. About six months after opening, a local uh, Irish cultural group came to us and uh, they asked if uh, we would be interested in hosting a, a traditional Irish session. And uh, I was, of course, all for it. And uh, we've been doing it for about five, almost six years now. And it's the first, um, the first Tuesday of every month and we pack the house every time. We usually get about um, between 10 and 20 musicians and um, a whole lot of people enjoying the music.